happy. Thank you. Okay, copy that. And we're in Woodland Hills now, again. <laughs> It's uh, in Woodland Hills now. It's CHP now, okay. Uh, this is perfect right now. Copy that reckless driving. I also heard a uh, cold plated. Copy. Kathy, it is a dangerous one, uh, but uh, at this point, we can't officially say stolen vehicle, but I can say it's a cold-plated vehicle, which may mean it's stolen. Essentially, what a cold-plated vehicle means is that the plates on the car don't match the type of vehicle that police are looking at, so in all likelihood, it means that the car is stolen and the plates are stolen. But what we have here is a vehicle that uh, took off from Ventura County Sheriff's deputies out uh, very close to the Ch Channel Islands Boulevard was what we first heard near the 101 and it's been a fast moving pursuit ever since going about 100 miles an hour on the 101 this entire time. They have since relinquished it to the California Highway Patrol so it's uh, CHP officers that are behind this guy. No airship yet because uh, they, are, they just launched out of Fullerton so it's going to take them a little bit to get up here but we are now in LA County still making our way southbound here on the 101. So there's really not too much in the way of traffic. If we were down in uh, downtown with that closure on the 110 freeway, I can guarantee you the story would not be the same. But in this case, at this time of night, the 101 actually still looks really nice. So he hasn't encountered any traffic at this point. He's been able to just uh, zip along here on the 101 freeway without issue. No close calls that we've witnessed. But I do need to say, he's got one bad tire. Uh, what we heard was that, uh, the C uh, I think it was Ventura County Sheriff's, at the time we're able to deploy a spike strip and so he did run over that spike and one tire went bad i believe it's the tire on uh, the driver's side rear i think it's down to the rim in fact uh, but we haven't seen sparks flying we were totally expecting to see that it hasn't happened yet though and he's still oh there we go a piece of the tire just went flying right now uh, here as he approaches uh, white oak avenue i really hope he slows down because without a tire and at these speeds he could easily spin out and cause a major your traffic accident.
Correct, yeah. So at this point, uh, all they can really do is trail him. They could try to go in a tracking mode, but they can't do that until the airship shows up. And again, now they're coming out of Fullerton, so it's going to take them a little bit to get up here into the San Fernando Valley. So for now, they have no choice but to keep these ground units directly behind him. And again, this is possibly a stolen car, so they don't know who is behind the wheel. It's not a situation where they can just run the plate and figure out who it is and try to get them at some other time. Uh, they literally don't know who they're chasing at this point. Difficult to tell if anybody else is inside uh, and at this point we haven't even been able to confirm uh, the gender of the person who is behind the wheel but a fast moving pursuit here uh, continuing uh, at 80 miles plus here southbound 101 approaching the 405 freeway At this point, no, he's uh, been a pretty good driver, all things considered, even at these high speeds. But uh, one of the things he is wanted for is reckless driving. And that just comes uh, with the fact that he's driving so dangerously and at these uh, high speeds. He'll also be wanted, of course, for failure to yield, which simply means he just didn't stop when police try to pull him over. And again, this started all the way out in Ventura County. Uh, basically, uh, Channel Islands Boulevard was uh, what our uh, tipster pup, uh, uh, pup scan LA heard. And he was the first one to let me know about this pursuit and uh, it was coming so fast down the 101 we were able to quickly pick it up here uh, near Calabasas and it's still a fast moving chase anywhere from 80 to 100 miles an hour as he comes up to the transition with the 405 freeway here so this is uh, going to be a chance for him to s uh, switch freeways and I think he's going to go uh, southbound 405 uh, but I'll be able to confirm as soon as he completes the transition to see what way he's going. Yeah, it really looks like he's starting to have stability issues. It's the tire that's closest to us. I, I can tell that it's no longer there. He's basically down uh, to the rim. And again, that is as a result of a spike strip that deputies were able to deploy uh, before he got into L.A. County. And uh, I thought it'd be over at that point with one bad tire, but he'd still been able to go at fast speeds here, now southbound on the 405. And clear. Thanks, guys. Uh, yeah, we'll stay with it online for a bit. And thank you to everyone who is joining us on NBCLA.com, Telemundo as well, and all of our streaming platforms. I'm Leanna Marino, alongside my pilot, George Marcineau. When we find ourselves here over a fast-moving police pursuit here on the southbound 405 freeway coming through the uh, Sepulveda Pass here. I'm going to widen out the shot just a touch so you can see some of the squad cars that are behind this guy. Now, uh, we're a little bit over it, so I'm going to ask George if he could uh, try to go a little bit ahead just so that it won't be directly under us. Uh, so sometimes the camera has a little issue when the car is uh, this steep under us. But we're uh, essentially southbound 405 freeway approaching Skirball, still fast speeds. And if you're just joining us, this is a pursuit uh, that we first heard about uh, from our tipster, uh, Juan, uh, Pubscan LA, who told us about this chase who was coming out of Ventura. It was coming at about 100 miles an hour southbound on the 101 freeway. At the time, we were on the closure on the 110 uh, near the 10 freeway for some Caltrans work. and. Uh, we still had plenty of time to make it to the chase because uh, he was driving so quickly coming our way, 100 miles an hour plus, coming uh, towards Los Angeles. Now, again, this is uh, believed to be a cold-plated vehicle, which means that the plates on the car don't match the type of car the police are looking at. I believe they're looking at a Hyundai, and uh, from what I hear, the plates come back to a Dodge. And so, of course, that doesn't add up. And in all likelihood, uh, what happened is the person stole the car, they stole the plates and threw them on. 
thinking that if the plates didn't come back as stolen, then uh, police wouldn't know that the car was stolen. But police still check to make sure that the plates match the type of vehicle that they're looking at. And in this case, they don't. So cold plated vehicle, reckless driving, failure to yield. Southbound 405 freeway coming up to Getty Center Drive. And real quickly, I'm just going to say a few words for our sister station, Telemundo, before resuming our coverage in English. Buenas noches desde el helicóptero. Yo soy Eliana Moreno, reportando sobre una persecución policial que se encuentra en el área de Bel Air, en la autopista 405, en dirección Surwiria. Oh, the Vice Presidential State Park. Are you able to just shoot down to the 10? Okay. So pardon me, guys. What's going on here is uh, we... Okay. Back with you guys here. We're a touch closer to it now. We're free of the uh, vice presidential TFR there that we had in the, the West LA area, but now we have LAX to deal with. So uh, we're still not going to be in our ideal position, but what my pilot George is going to do is he's going to go over LAX at about 2,500 feet to get us over the airport, and then hopefully we'll be able to pick up the pursuit on the other side. So have and TFRs to deal with some airspace issues, but uh, here's the pursuit continuing southbound here on the 405 freeway, uh, very close to the Culver City area. We've already passed the 90, so we're already south of the 90 and headed towards LAX. Uh-huh. Oh. Sparks flying. Sparks are flying. Okay, thank you. Till uh, 
the TFR boxes. Okay. So yeah, stay, where, I guess, where you can safely stay. And if he makes it to the 105, then we'll go around. Uh-huh. Okay. So there you go, guys. Sparks are flying because, again, he lost that tire a while ago. I'm surprised we didn't see sparks before this. But continuing southbound on the 405 freeway at Slauson. I don't think he's going to be able to go much longer. And we're trying to do the best we can to keep tabs on it. But we're dealing with uh, vice presidential TFR issues as well as LAX. So we kind of have to shoot it from a distance here. Uh, vice President uh, Harris is coming into town. And so there is a TFR over LAX for her for that. And there's also one in the Brentwood area, which is why we uh, had to scoot away earlier. So uh, pardon the uh, shot here. It's a little bit further than what we'd like. But you can see a CHP unit is pulling up right to the vehicle. They're telling him to back off, so they don't want him to pit. They're just telling him to back off, give him some room. This is probably going to come to an end here very soon here in the Westchester area. Exiting right now, and this will probably bring things to an end because I think they're going to try to pit him right now. It'd be a perfect spot to do it. Usually it turns. Turns are a great spot to do it. They're saying prepare for a foot bail, so they think this guy's going to... Yeah, so he's just behind that building there. We're doing the best we can, but because of LAX airspace uh, restrictions, we're not allowed over there. But I'll just uh, tell you what I'm hearing on the scanner. I still see the police lights there at the bottom of the off-ramp. Very close to the airport. And right off the 405 at Howard Hughes. Looks like they're trying to go into a parking structure. And officers are making contact with him now is what we're hearing. So I'm hearing a clothing description. So once I start hearing clothing descriptions, that usually means that he's on foot. Uh, so it sounds like it's a foot bail. They're making contact with him now. They are only talking about one person, so it doesn't sound like it's multiple individuals in this vehicle. But we're just off of Howard Hughes and the 405 freeway. The airship says that they're under a tree right now, so he can't really see. But you can kind of see his night sun over there. Sounds like they have the driver in custody, waiting to make sure that there's nobody else. And I think that's it. Their, their tone of voice is uh, calming down. It doesn't seem like they're in active uh, uh, foot pursuit anymore. So it sounds like the driver was uh, the sole occupant of that vehicle. From what we're hearing, he's in custody. They're going to clear the car, make sure nobody else is inside. To watch more heart stopping car chases happening across Southern California, subscribe here. Thanks for watching. The chase is on.